Hi second grade musicians, Mrs. Steinhoff here and I'm going to go over some solfege with you. Now I like doing solfege in music class with you because we can take instruments out and we can sing together and it makes a little bit more sense. But we're going to do our very best to do some solfege using my handy dandy whiteboard here and just my voice. I'm going to have you practice with me. So you'll see that I put some music notes on my music staff here and underneath them I labeled them. Now remember with solfege, solfege is a way that we give names to the different musical sounds that we can make with our voices and on instruments that we play to help us read them and also to hear them before we even sing them or play them. So I've labeled them here. Do is at the bottom. Re is a neighbor. Re comes next. Mi is the next neighbor. I have an X here and also on my music staff because I'm going to skip this next person. We learn about them in third and fourth grade. So then I'm going to go over to Sol. I've skipped over this person and I went to Sol. Remember that I skipped. And then I have La. Remember that when I'm using solfege, Do is not always going to live here. Just like you might move from one house to another, Do, Re, Mi, Sol, La, and all the other solfege pitches that we haven't met yet, they can move around as well. Right now, I'm in my house that I've lived in for four years, but before that, I lived somewhere else. I moved here. I'm still the same Mrs. Steinhoff, but I moved from one place to another. All of these solfege friends can do the same thing, so, and we'll, we'll see that in a little bit here. So if I'm on Do, Do is the bottom pitch for now. Do could start somewhere else. But for right now, Do starts on this bottom space. Do you see how Do has a line that goes through other lines, but the note head, the big circle that's colored in, that's in a space. Re is the next note over. Re is the neighbor of Do. It's as if I were Do, and if you went to the next door neighbor of me, they would be Re, okay? So Do and then Re. Now we've talked about how solfege is kind of like a hill. So if we wanna think of all these neighbors and people who live on the same road, it's as if their road is a hill, okay? So Do lives at the bottom and Re is higher up. So you'll see that Re is on a line. So if Do is on a space, Re is the next neighbor and they're one, space, they're one note higher. So now Re is on a line. Re's other neighbor is me, and me is one step higher. And when I say step, that's because if I were to draw like that, it starts to look like stairs. They're steps. So Do is the bottom, Re, and me. Do you remember a few minutes ago I said that I was skipping over one of our solfege pitches? I've skipped over someone here. Now on your worksheet at home, you'll see that I've skipped over fa. We don't learn to read fa, we sing it, but we don't learn to read it yet. But fa would be right here. And because me is on a space, you'll see that fa would be on that where that X is on the line, but I'm skipping over that. So if I skip, that means I'm going to the next note, the next space up, and that's sol. So me and Sol are not neighbors. I have to skip a spot. But Sol does have another neighbor that we know, one step higher, and that's La. Now if I were to sing this, it's going to sound like this. Do, Re, Mi, Sol, La. Listen close, I'm gonna do that again and watch, watch how I use my hand signs and also listen to how my voice gets higher as I go higher with these. Do, Re, mi, sol, la. The hand signs help us to remember how, how to sing those and it puts a, an image inside our brain as well. Now I said before that these can move around, so I'm gonna move them around now. I'm going to start with do, not on a space this time. Do is going to move to a line, so bear with me. I'm going to make two music staffs because then I'm going to give you another example of how we can combine these in other ways. They don't always have to be in that order and we know that because we've done different examples for sight reading where I move them all around and we have to figure out what the pattern is based on where I've moved the different notes. 
So now I'm not telling you where I'm moving. I'm just telling you that Do is starting on a line, which means all the others will be moving a little bit as well. Okay. I haven't labeled all of them. I'm going to have you help me label as I go. So Do has moved higher up. And now Do is on a line. It's still Do. We've just gone higher. Think in your brain, what comes after Do? Which pitch is one step higher than Do? I'm going to write it. Did you say Re? And now think what comes after Re. Me. And those are... We're stepping, we're going up. Step up to Ray from Do, step up to me from Ray. Then remember, I'm going to skip over the next house. If this were Solfege Street, I'm skipping over the next house. And when I skip from me to the next skip higher, I'm skipping to Sol, which means that that last one on this hill is La. It's still going to sound similar to what I sang before, we've just moved to the notes around. Do, re, mi, sol, la. Did you try and sing that with me from home? Do, re, mi, sol, la. Now, I'm going to move do again on this other staff that I have that I left blank. And I'm going to make a pattern and at home, I want you to think, when does Mrs. Steinhoff's pattern move up? When does it move down? When is she maybe skipping from one to another? Because I can skip from do to me. I could skip, I could say do, then me, and then soul. I just have to remember that do is on this line. If I don't go to the next step up, I must be skipping to another step after Ray. So I'm going to be a little tricky here, and then we'll go over it together. I'll sing it, and then I'll have you sing it with me at home. And this will help you a little bit on those patterns that you have on your worksheets. So if you look closely, Do has moved again. Do's on a line, but it's a different line than the example above. One thing to keep in mind is if we know where Do is, we can label all the other do's after that because when we read music and we want to think of our solfege as a street, it's as if we go from do and then we travel to someone's house, but then maybe we come back home and then we travel to another house then another house and we come back home. So we can move around, but we always want to remember that do is home. Do is like your house. If you look closely, I have do and then think, do I go up or down? And am I stepping or skipping? If you said I'm stepping up, you've got it. And we know that one step higher than Do is Re. Now, where do I go after Re? So I have Do, Re. If you said Do, you've got it because I went back to where Do was before. So currently, I have Do, Re. Do. Now here's Do. Hmm, I haven't seen that one in my example yet. But Do was on this line. Ray was in the space above. And if you just kind of drag your finger across, you'll see that, oh, that's just one step higher than Ray was. If we look at our example up here, what's one step higher than Ray? And I hope you're saying me. And if you look closely, we've already seen these other two. We just have to think backwards a little bit. If we're at me and we step down, what's a step down from me? Ray. And we're ending on the same pitch that we started on. So what's this last one going to be? If you said do, you've got it. I'm going to sing that pattern for you, and then I want you to try and sing it with me from your house. Do, re, do, mi, re, do.
let's try that together. Ready, go, do, re, do, mi, re, do. So we've done a lot of this before in music class, but it's, a, it's nice to review a little bit. Remember, do can move around, but wherever do moves, that means the rest of this, those solfege syllables need to move around as well. And if we do that, and we remember that the patterns can change, that wherever do lives and the others move around, they're going to stay in that spot for those examples. When we get older, they might change, but for now, they don't. So as you do your examples on your worksheet at home, hopefully this helps you a little bit. You can see that the patterns can change, but wherever do is, that's where it's going to stay. If your example starts on soul, then you'd use the same idea. Wherever soul is, we just have to think forward and backward from the others. We're not using fa yet, so really we just have to make sure that we know how do, re, and mi are related. They're like stairs going up. Soul and la are neighbors, and we skip over fa for now. So I hope that helps you do your worksheet, and it helps you to practice your solfege at home.